don't fall for that shit no more, period. Exactly. Exactly. All right, let's 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 get into something else. What Drake, what Drake called the niggas? What Drake said, I know you alone at home. You probably, <laughs> what the nigga Drake said on the song. <laughs> it's probably a guy that's alone at his home. He said he fell alone. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Yo, matter of fact, I got I to gotta touch on this. Speaking on Drake, right? Now, you know, Drake and Pusha, they had their thing. They went at it. And shit, you know what I mean? And Jay Prince stepped in, right? And of course, shouts to the big homie Jay Prince. Man, guys. He pumped the brakes on, you know, them going back and forth at each other because that shit started getting real disrespectful with the family and all that, right? Right. Jay Prince said Drake had a record that would have ended Kanye's career as well as pushing. Did you hear that record? Oh, can you elaborate? I didn't hear it, but uh-huh. the campfire heard it. All my people that went a lot heard that shit and told me about it. It, it. it was the truth, but it was more than them two. It was everybody. Like, it's a lot of connections with everybody, you know? So, like, it, it, it's, it's just too much. It's way too much, you know what I mean? Like, it, it was just way too much beyond. Like, a lot of people would have been put on blast beyond Kanye not so much a push, but, you know what I mean, everybody that's going against the boy, so, you know what I mean, they said he had one, that that could have fucked up all his opportunities, though, you know what I mean, because Drake going at a motherfucker and disrespect the motherfuckers that bad, he gonna lose all his endorsements, he gonna lose the Adidas deal, he gonna lose the Sprite deal, he gonna lose, you know, all the shit that you got going with the Toronto Raptors and this, that, and the third, so, uh, they had to pump the brakes, period, but the word around the campfire, that nigga had one. That nigga had that nigga went crazy. Like he, he, he said that nigga back. He rapped like nigga. It was the end of his career. They said, "Damn, like, he, like that." He rapped like it was the end of his career and just went crazy. So I mean, that should probably come out. Y'all probably hear it. Probably get a leak. Gotta come out, man. It I'm probably get a leak. I, that bitch still in the studio. I asked my nigga. I said, "Ain't deleted." I said, "Nah, that shit's still in the lab." I said, "Woo, um, y'all better put a lock on that bitch." <laughs> man, you probably get a hold of that shit. Somebody get a hold of that nigga. They, man, listen, man. The engineer nigga get soft, soft M. They give him a nah, soft hun done. He probably get a soft honey. Give him nigga soft hundred, hundred thousand wow for that. Yeah, this that's the right. <laughs> Easy honey. Soft honey. Soft honey. Easy. Cryptocurrency, whatever you want. Crypto, you want cash app, nigga. Soft honey. <laughs> period. But yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, you know that nigga Drake was all into the battle rap shit, man, period. So he was all into the URL shit, the king of the dot shit, you know what I mean? The grind time shit y'all started and all that. So at the end of the day, he come from that cloth. He hang with daylight and shit, all that. He's with them niggas that got bars, so he went to his bar bag and went crazy. You did? So, yeah, that had to pump his brakes. Like, ah, it's getting too crazy. Well, let me mm-hmm. ask you this. How you felt about the records, like the Duppy Freestyle, then the Pusha T, what's that, Added On? Story of Added On? Like, like, what's your, I guess, thoughts on who had the better record? Who won that shit? Um, at the end of the day, man, the most, the, the nigga who get exposed the most loses. Mm. Period. Flat out. No matter how dope the song was, no matter how dope you thought somebody else's bars was, you got exposed the most, so you lose. And you lose because you got a whole side A dibbing and dabbing and explaining about this shit that he exposed you on. So this new album, Scorpion, is, is damn near of a plot to, you know, what, what dude put out there, you know? So when you put a motherfucker back against the wall, you got a nigga over explaining you lost. Yo, but, but I gotta ask you this because it was numerous media outlets that asked Jay Prince. They said it's rumors that Drake had a response to Pusha T. And like you said, he answered Pusha T because he was forced to. So, in a sense, he did respond to Pusha T. Yeah, on the emotionless, emotionless, that, that was all Pusha T right there. I, I wasn't hiding my kid from the world, I was hiding the world from my kid, something like that, something to that effect. Right. That's a direct response. Yeah, so then you, you, what you're saying is that Jay Prince stopped him from responding. 
No, he stopped that song from coming out. That song would have been. See, now if it was just going at at, at Kanye and Push, it would have came out. But it's going at everybody. Like everybody that ever disrespected a nigga. And, and you know what I mean? Everybody is going behind his back, giving info to this nigga, info to that nigga. Like, everybody was going to get it, period. So it was deeper than rap, you know what I mean? Deeper than them two. Now, his album, you know, answer and push, getting that Kanye, that's cool. But the shit he was talking about, everybody else would have fucked everybody relationship up and put niggas on blast that ain't got nothing to do with this beef. That's why that song ain't come out, you know what I mean? It's a different. That's you know? what? I ain't gonna, I ain't going to hold you. Jay Prince said it will be no response. That's that was his uh direct <laughs> word. No response. So I don't know. Drake didn't get no, no. Prince. Yo, yo. The Drake. The the did he got on my time? Did he? I mean, hey, I don't know. There's the element of surprise to make them lower their guard and like attack. Like I don't know. I don't know, man. But you're right. Jay did say it won't be no response, and it was a fucking response. No response. That whole album was a response. The whole side A. With a dab of dude, like the end of uh, side B, you know what I mean? He respond too. But that whole side A, dumbass respond. Respond, respond, respond. Talking about Kanye, nigga. Talking about my uh, favorite artist acting weird now and some shit like that. Like, that, that's Yeezy. You know what I mean? Come on. He, he going in, bro. He, he got so many subliminal shit. That nigga said, your wifey, your wifey, your wifey, your trainer not gonna stop, man, come on, who, who got a fucking trainer, who got who got the nanny, and who got the wifey? Like, like, you like, who you talking about? Like, nigga, like, yo, man, quit shooting that Kanye like that, man. So, at the end of the day, what I always said is that Drake is Kanye's baby, period. If Kanye had a baby, Kanye and... Let's say Kanye and Wayne had a baby, it'd be Drake, basically, because he came out rapping like Lil Wayne and put the Kanye splash on top of his shit at the end of the But we gonna pause, because that's two men, but I get what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? We gonna oh, that's, a, that's a hell of a pause. That's a hell of a pause. That's a hell of a, uh, that's a, hell of a pause. But uh, yeah, if they adopted a baby, it would be him. Got Period. That, would, that would be the step. That would be the baby son. And, and no respect. You don't want to no, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. no, no, Frank Ocean, no Frank Ocean, baby, period. No Frank Ocean, no Frank Ocean, baby, that's the no, no homo, no Frank Ocean, baby, flat out, but uh, look. Yo, look, look, we ain't swimming in the Frank Ocean, you think what I'm saying? <laughs> no, no <laughs> ocean spray, no ocean spray. <laughs> Yo, I'm not swimming in Frank Ocean, I'm not swimming in Frank's Ocean, fuck all that, nigga. Yeah, pause. No Frank Ocean. But look, basically he took he took Kanye style and, and put that bitch on steroids. It's like when uh corrupt stranded from death row. That style, if you're an artist, you know. Crooked Eye took that style and ran with that shit and turned that shit to steroids to what it is right now. Am I lying? Mm. Am I lying? Crooked Eye didn't take the, the fucking corrupt style from from the first Chronic album. He didn't take that style, mastered that motherfucker, and stepped it up to a thousand notches to where it's, where it's at right now? That's not that stranded on death row style? Yo, you know what? Because I yeah. was trying, like, when I listened to Crooked Eye, I was trying, I'm like, yo, you sound like somebody. I couldn't pinpoint it. I think you you just pinpointed it. For it's corrupt. It's the early corrupt, the first corrupt that came out. And that's corrupt now, the first, the, the one that was going crazy on shit. Yeah, he was, he was a monster back then. Corrupt. A monster. Crooked master that style took that shit out of here. Mm. Kanye put out 808s and heartbeats. Nobody was harmonizing and, and fucking doing the 80, I mean, the fucking uh, auto tune besides T Pain. Yeah. Beyond that point. So he threw the 808 heartbeats, he harmonizing, he's singing, he rapping and shit. Drake took that style and took that shit to a whole nother level that. that Nobody could, you know what I mean? Like, he took that step. He's a baby of Kanye. Facto. Of 808s and heartbeats. Facto. You know, he took that crazy. shit to the next, next era. Period. You know, you know what's crazy? When I first met Drake, he was with Kanye. Kanye was shooting his video. So every yeah. time that, Kanye was directing his video. Yeah. You know he admired Kanye. That that was, that was a nigga. Was, and then you got to think of, like, who made it cool just to make, like, Rap talking about daily life, dealing with bitches, and you know, just regular shit. You know, not really on no D boy shit, not really on no hardcore backpack shit, but just regular shit. 
that people going through in life. Who made that style popular? Kanye, right? Am I lying? He made that style just for him to for Drake to even be talking about insta thoughts and all these little bitches. Kanye made that style popping. Yeah, right. right. That's there wasn't right. no other rapper. You can't name no other nigga saying he Drake took from Ja Rule. Ja Rule wasn't rapping like that. Mm-hmm. Nah. I, I, I think niggas are saying the whole rap and singing thing. That's what niggas are saying. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, that's cool. But then you can say Ja Rule took from Bone Thugs. Yeah. That was before Ja Rule. That's facts. I mean, I'm just saying, like, you know what I mean? So at the end of the day, Drake took from Kanye. His style sounds like Kanye. It don't sound like Ja Rule. It don't sound like Bone Thugs. It sound like fucking Kanye West. Even the shit he talk about. The same shit. From the girls to the... the all the shit he talk about. The same shit. Period. He kind of on steroids. So you got the, the two niggas going against each other. They got, it's always going to be Luke Skywalker against Dark Vader. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. It's gonna happen, my nigga. It's gonna happen, man. Period. Just, just the Star Wars and George Lucas. Those shit's some crazy ass films. Salute. Uh, until, until Black Panther came out, he, he dethroned it. But uh, yeah, they had some dope. I said, I said until Black Panther came out, dethroned it. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, but uh, yeah. That's that shit. <laughs> <laughs> <That's fun. laughs> Wakanda. Yeah. Forever. I, I, I ain't gonna hold you. That's that shit right there. Yo.